Hi guys, Jeff Westfall back with another set of videos helping you learn to simulate guard passes on the stability ball. Today we're going to do what's called the over under guard pass. I'm going to drag out the dummy here for a second. What I'm looking to do essentially with an over under guard pass is get one of his legs stuffed between my legs. I'm trapped and pinched like this. Drop myself down so that my shoulder is on him. So my, my over is this arm. My under is this arm. We're grabbing uniform and sagging up off our knees. Now, that's hard to pick up visually on the dummy, and the dummy is, this is a terrible dummy for practicing this technique. I actually prefer practicing most of it on the stability ball. But I, honed, I wanted to give you an idea. Let me show you from another angle. This dummy is just so loose jointed and flexible that it doesn't give you any feel of resistance the way the stability ball does. But once I've come in and set things up with my opponent, I'm going to step and pinch one of his legs between my legs. This hand, my right hand, will drop and post, while this hand, which is holding his uniform pants, is shoving down as I drop my shoulder down this way, and his leg is pinched. So I'm gonna want you to visualize all of that as I'm doing what I do on the stability ball. So here I am again, my same familiar situation. I wanna be close enough that I can engage his feet with my hands far enough away that he has zero chance to engage my legs with his legs or to suddenly sit up and get a cross collar grip on me. So I'm respectful of what he could do as I'm doing this, I'm not being sloppy. And when I'm ready, I'm going to do a triple tap or a triple touch. Now, from this perspective, my triple touch without footwork is gonna look like this. I'm going to bat the ball with my right hand a little bit to the side. I'm gonna catch it with the left hand. What that's really doing is here are his feet. I'm gonna bat the inside of this foot with my right hand and knock it that way, right into the grip of my left hand, which will grab at the pants. That's the first two touches of the triple touch. The third touch is gonna to be the right hand touching on the knee over here. So I'll have a grip here, and a, knee, and a hand posted here on the dummy. So I knock his, his lower leg over to my hand to grip it, to put my hand on his knee. Now the very next thing I do, I'm gonna go diagonally here, is I'm going to take a diagonal step with my left leg. What that's doing with a human partner is I'm trying to get offline of having his legs aimed straight at me. I want to get over here so his feet are already starting to point the wrong direction. And as I do that, I'm bringing this leg over and I'm trying to trap it between my legs. I'm going to pinch my legs together in an attempt to trap his lower leg. So again, we're going diagonally here. Let's try this angle. Take a diagonal step with that foot. My right knee comes in. I wedge my right knee against the dummy. I come up and support it with my left. Notice my right heel is down and centered. My left leg is just supporting. It heels up and it's helping to pinch. In reality, his lower leg is trapped in here if I've done my job correctly. Let's watch from this angle.
Okay, I'm ready to go. This hand is simulating, I'm gripping this pants leg. I am pushing that down hard between my legs. So in reality, when I've arrived at this point, my palm will be way down low and my elbow will be pretty extended. I won't be bent like this. And in reality, as this is flowing, I'm continuing to shove and turn. And the arm comes down to here. That happens at the same time. See the arm push? That's an important part of it. Now let's rotate it 180. So I'm solid on the right foot. My left foot is supporting. I'm also putting a good deal of weight on my left hand here. This hand, which is just on his knee, is going to slide to the mat as my shoulder slides down onto him. To do that, I'll stay standing on my right foot, but my left knee is going to sag like this, allowing me to drop my shoulder on him. In reality, that shoulder is dropping right on his waist. His legs and hips are getting stacked up in the air. He's getting a grown man's weight onto his lower lungs and diaphragm. He's getting very uncomfortable by this point if I'm doing my job right. And part of that job is to make sure that I'm not on my knees when I come down. This knee can sag, but it doesn't have to touch. It just sags so that my weight is transferred like this. Let's talk about the position of my arms here. In reality, I'm still holding his pants leg, and as I, as I sag those knees and turn, I'm shoving that pants leg down and, and I'm rolling a little bit to my right. The other arm, which has come to here, in reality, with a human partner, I base it first, then I go under his hip and I grab his belt, and I start sucking my elbow back. Because the dummy presents certain challenges for balance, I won't do that as much. So I've made it down, I've sagged. This arm is shoving straight and it's close. My forearm is right up against my thigh, very close to my thigh. I put this hand on the mat. In reality, it's gripping like this. But because the ball is so high, I make a concession and put it here for now. Okay, now my next job is to weaken his legs. Okay, at this angle, if my opponent's right there in front of my feet, my legs are naturally aligned for power and for strength. What he's going to try to do to me if he's doing this technique is he's going to gradually try to make my legs weaker and weaker. The more he can move out here, out to my right, it becomes harder and harder and harder for me to try to entangle with my legs or do whatever I want to do. If he wants to fight me here with my feet facing him, he's a fool. So if he's doing the technique well, he's walking his feet around me like a clock hand going around. This way, dry, dragging my legs over. Then when he does what he wants to do, which I will show you, he's going to walk back in reverse and come back to the center line. So I hope that helps you visualize what's happening here. So my knee is in, my left leg is supporting, my left arm is, is extended firmly with my palm. I start to roll the ball, getting my arm crowding against my leg planting my hand. Now watch, look from this angle. Look at how, as I go into it, I extend this arm and I begin shoving it under. Now at a certain point, so my arm is very close to my thigh here. Now we're going to rotate some more. From this angle, you still can't see my forearm. So what I want to do, using my hand on the mat to help me balance, is I'm going to walk clockwise around the dummy. I can't take big steps. Remember, I'm simulating pinching his leg. So I can't take giant steps. I lose his leg. I'm still holding his leg. I begin to drive my head across a little bit. I circle around. 
Now his leg is out where it's weak. I'm ready to go to the next step. And what I want to do here, what I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to trap his knee, which will require a partner to demonstrate for you. So I'm lifting my hips and I'm pushing my arm under my body. And what I'm looking to do here to make this happen is as I continue to walk, I want to make my forearm appear. I've actually rolled across my arm. Now my hips are behind my forearm. I was here. And as I walked, my forearm comes under. Now this is how I have chosen to simulate the act of forcing his leg across. When I feel that this arm is ahead of my hip, I know that I've gotten his knee all the way across. Now I'm ready to start walking in the other direction. To do that, I, know, I no longer want to roll the ball. I wanted to roll the ball as I walked this way. Now I want to move without making the ball roll at all. So I hold the ball still with my left arm, shift my weight, and I step over my arm. Now my hand goes down, and I can begin to set up the next part. And the next part is going to be taking my left foot through and making a base like this. And that's as far as I'll take this particular video. So let's show you this, this much from another angle. I've moved in, I've got my right foot flat, my left knee is supporting with the heel up, put a lot of weight into my left hand, I start sagging my left knee and dropping my weight and I'm extending my left arm. Right now you can see that my arm is behind my hip. As I begin to walk around, okay, one element of walking around, this is another con concession I have to make for the stability ball. I'm not going to be able to keep this right hand on the mat when I do this part. In reality, this would be holding his belt and sucking up and in as I do this. So as I start walking around the ball and I start rolling the ball this way, I'm keeping this arm out of the way for you to see, but I should have it across my face touching the ball. That's to simulate that my arm is across as I'm doing this. I'm not going to have the freedom to do this. My arm will have to be across. At least I want to simulate this by touching the ball. So my arm's in front. I'm ready to go. I don't roll the ball, that's very important. As I walk, I lift my hips up over the arm. I go about 90 degrees without rolling the ball. And then finally what I do is sit my left leg through like this and make a new base. My right hand is a big part of this base too. So I'm right to here. I've walked around about 90 degrees. I sit this leg through to make a new base. Let me back up, make sure this is in frame. My hand is over here simulating, still holding the belt. I lift my hips up over the arm, walk around, plant the hand on the mat, drive my head a little bit, Step my left foot through, and I should feel nice and balanced here. This should not feel off balance at all. That's part one of our over-under guard pass. I hope this makes sense to you. It actually doesn't matter too much if it doesn't make sense if you meticulously follow the way I'm doing it. You're developing a lot of the same feelings that you're going to develop doing this pass on a human being. Um, it takes a lot of memorization to get used to the stability ball here, but I think it's worth it, and it's really good exercise. So try that out, see what you think. I'll be back with the rest of this in one or two more videos.